Well, the plan of the administration at the moment is threefold. One, housing, two, food, and three, safety. Now, when it comes to housing, as you mentioned, uh, obviously with the, the camp uh, com entirely destroyed, it becomes a priority. And that's, uh, some families are behind me, as you can see, they don't have anywhere to go at the moment. We have one ferry that arrived uh, not too long ago. It's at a port uh, quite far away from here. So it begs the question on how exactly will the asylum seekers be moved uh, to this ferry? And meanwhile, uh, two warships are also supposed to be coming uh, to bring in tents, much needed tents. But uh, the big question is, will there be enough to house the 13,000 uh, people who are now homeless on this island? And it's very likely that the question will be answered in the negative. Now, when it comes to food, earlier today when we were walking around here, we met with a number of uh, families, many, many families, many, many children, infants, walking barefoot, mothers who were asking for help to feed their newborns. A three-month-old uh, child uh, was crying because it was hungry, didn't have enough milk. And that's where the other main challenge of the administration is currently falling short. We're hearing that uh, food was being distributed earlier, uh, but uh, the problem also is communication. Is the word getting out enough? The food is being distributed at the main points where uh, the migrants and asylum seekers are being held. But, uh, you know, it's, it's yet another challenge. And of course, Safety, safety. We had 35 confirmed cases last week when a sample of 2,000 people were taken, but that's only 2,000 people. And only eight of these 35 people were located. The rest, well, the authorities don't really know where they are. So it has raised the alarm bell here on how to deal with this, how to tackle with this threefold issue. And at the moment, they're scrambling. And of course, what is really being acutely felt is the absence of NGOs. Once they were all over Lesbos, but today there are many who are missing. And of course, many had to leave because of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, but today we can really feel uh, the emptiness and more so the migrants and asylum seekers and all these families who currently are stuck here and have nowhere to go.